Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell. And today we are gonna do some reacting and I'm gonna check out the new footage that came out today. It looks like it's a 20 minute video that they posted. So I'm gonna put a link down below to the original source for the Midnight Suns YouTube channel. So that's where I'm watching this from is from the original channel. And I, I will try to react to the whole thing, but depending on what they show us, I might break this up into several videos. So we'll see. So I'm really looking forward to the Sabertooth stuff. So that's what we're gonna get into. We're gonna start this and see where it takes us. So without further ado, here we go. Oh, yeah, nice KO. You know, they, they All right, objective complete. Fun. Nice. That that's pretty good. So I'll probably break that footage up like and make a separate video place. just on that hey, battle. Um, Cause there was a lot of information, three types of cards, all that kind of stuff. I've hunted an so I'll make that a separate video that probably. And uh, I'll probably break this. Oh, there he is. Oh, finally. Okay, good. Cause I was like, all right, we're like 10 minutes into this thing. And we don't have a uh, saber tooth. <laughs> Second best there is at what he does. Nice. But we know who the best is. Runt. Ooh, Runt. Nice. Uh, classic, classic saber tooth line. Too bad for you. So this is uh, I don't know if I said this earlier. This is alpha gameplay footage, which is captured on PC. Oh, Wolverine. Nice. The best there is at what he does. Heads are definitely about to roll. Nice. Whoa, is that the same voice actor from the oh, animated series? Another mangy stray. That's awesome. All right. Smell wrong. Compared to him. Good point. <laughs> nice. All right. So Saber, what's he like? A boss battle, huh? So we got separated from our now team, so... To kill two runs with one claw. Was Wolverine, has he always been on the team, or is he just like... Maybe I should be paying Hydra. Is this both the characters' introductions into the game? Yeah, and... and <laughs> Get to see some of the there. battle, that's just cool. One of the cinematics, we have, we have hours of cinematics in the game. Obviously, mm -hmm. we're telling a very deep uh, story. Yeah, And, and right. part of that story, uh, of course, is introducing these villains. This is the first mm -hmm. villain we've, we've shown, but we have a, we have a large cast of, of characters. Oh, that's Not good to hear. Heroes, so he said Saber Tooth is the first villain they're officially well, showing, but the there's a lot more. a large cast of villains for the player to, to fight against. It's what makes Lilith um, Frenzy. so powerful. So again, Ooh. she's the ultimate enemy. The thing that's cool Whoa. about her, if you imagine... He attacked... Well, maybe it was his turn. Because he just attacked Wolverine. Wolverine didn't even uh, touch him, I don't think. Because she can corrupt people with a single touch. So not only do you fight villains... Oh, yeah, like he's, Tooth here, he's talking about corrupting we call fallen, characters, the fallen. I just made a video about that even heroes, uh, the other day. The to fight against, um, over the course of the game. So, yeah. Very deep narrative. What is uh, it? What's he doing? A lot of narrative comes out, not just through cinematics, but also you'll experience in-game ah. as well. And now we're fighting against Sabretooth, and yes, you're so right, this is a... a you can move around, well, matchup, obviously he right? can move because we'll attack base, but does, yeah. he put himself behind that crate I mean, and kicked well, it right at Sabretooth and knocked out all the other guys. You know, Four deadly, enemies like, KO'd. Sabretooth mm -hmm. is, is a very deadly character, Dang. and so you're going to have to require your entire team to take him out. Sab I all love the design of Sabretooth. A bunch of unique abilities. He looks cool. And also a, a unique player to them. And he Sabretooth, towers over Wolverine, which makes sense. Behind Sabretooth is that... He has a ability called Frenzy, and that means that okay. every time you take an action, he may respond, right? So you have to be really careful and oh. be very efficient in what you do because Sabretooth responds very quickly. Oh, so... so, so take two actions, then he's done. Oh, um, so that's his back. power. So Frenzy like just when he goes on that means frenzy if you target. attack, yes, he'll yeah, react to it. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, I mean... Oh, I, love, I like the I animated love stuff, like in between when they, um, you know, you know, when a move happens, they show like an the animation to it, which um, is this nice. This is where you meet him. This is pretty far into the game, probably. I mean, actually, this game's very long, so not that far, but this is a good 10, 12 hours <laughs> into the game. Um, when you meet Wolverine and you unlock um, him. So there are characters you unlock. Um, Wait, do you say this is, this is the moment 10 to 12 hours into the game? And so again, and we just meeting Wolverine. Holy cow! Wolverine has the ability to regenerate health. Uh, he's very low on health here. Guards, you doing okay, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Wolverine, yeah, okay. So he can heal, obviously, but he can attack multiple targets too. So that's a, an ability that he has that some other characters, I guess, at this point in the game, don't have. Um, that's crazy. So this, they said this might be a forty to sixty hour game. Dang, that guy went flying. <laughs> oh, here comes another frenzy attack. Um, yeah, this is the problem with dang. Got knocked right into that truck, bro. This matches how he is in the comics as well. Like, 
Um, do something, stop. You know? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So always kind of yeah. Sabretooth's re- relentless for sure. Um, so yeah. So Wolverine. I, so they said like this is a forty to sixty hour game. So Wolverine, if he's about ten to twelve hours in, that's roughly about a sixth of the game way in before you get Wolverine and meet Sabretooth here. So. That's crazy. There's a lot of story in this then, which is great. Like, because if I'm going to pay, you know, 60 bucks or 70 bucks for a game when it first comes out, I like to get that value. One of my favorite parts as as movement, if you play tactics, you know how critical it is. But it's this wonderful balance of you can choose to play more methodically and find that single precise movement position to take advantage of the enemies. But it's not every single turn, every single action to make that That's a great value. Oh man, okay. So we so they beat him. Okay, so he's down, and uh, now he's running through an alley here. Dang, Sabretooth. Normally, when Wolverine and Sabretooth fight, Sabretooth wins a lot, or at least in the older comics. Um, but no, he got his clock cleaned here, man. Uh oh. Oh, Lilith is coming, right? The green light. Yeah. So, oh man. So we just made a video about the Fallen, and he was just talking about that earlier. I guess Sabretooth, are we going to see him get corrupted? Is he going to become a Fallen? Are we going to see what a Fallen looks like? That would be awesome. All right, Lilith. Get him. You'll do. Ooh, her, I, that's her first time hearing her voice. That's good. She's got a good, good creepy voice. Whoa, his eyes went black. Demon black. Oh, and his fangs. Oh, just a tease. Just a tease. That's all we get right now. Okay, that Saber 2 stuff was awesome. Uh, that was really, really cool. And I will, you know, like I said, I think now that the presentation's over, you know, I'm going to break this up. I think I'm going to do, like, some videos where you don't see my face. Because the only thing really worth reacting to for me to share with you guys was the Sabretooth cutscenes and some of the fight with Sabretooth. So I'll probably have that footage in here. And and then the rest of the stuff, like I'll break down like footage of the Abbey. I'll, you know, I'll make my typical videos where you you don't see my face and you kind of see like the the uh, awesome artwork by Blue Spacebird and stuff. So I'll have that, uh, you know, posting up later on. But here I'll just have my reaction and some footage here of some, my Sabretooth collection. I figured this will be a good place to share it. So I am a big Sabretooth fan. And uh, for those who don't believe me, now here's the proof. You can see all these photos here of some great runs of the you know Sabretooth character and his appearances. Uh, I'll start with the classic stuff. When they reprinted that in the 90s, they did Sabretooth classics because he was starting to become kind of a little bit of an anti-hero in a way or just like a good villain that you know people were starting to like. This was around the time Venom and Carnage were getting very popular. And so Sabretooth was starting to rise up in that regard as well. And so they reprinted all of his early appearances, not his first appearance in Iron Fist, unfortunately, but they did reprint stuff from Sabretooth in his early years, along with his early appearances in the X-Men books and things like that before he became an actual Wolverine villain. Um, but some of that is reprinted near the end of the run because there's only 15 issues of Sabretooth classics. And then from there, they went into like other miniseries. So they had the Sabretooth miniseries uh, that was just called Sabretooth, which was really awesome and uh, had some amazing artwork in it uh, by Mark Tixieria, who was also an artist on Ghost Rider. Um, and then you had, you know, a lot of great other stuff like the Mystique miniseries. Um, and there's been a lot of other stuff that he's popped up in open season that was like later in the early 2000s, I think. Um, and then, yeah, and then we had some great one shots. So there's like some really cool one shots, including In the Red Zone, which was a book where technically Sabretooth died. I mean, he kind of died in a Wolverine book where he got lobotomized, I should say, in a Wolverine book. But then In the Red Zone was, uh, you know, after he's been lobotomized, he went full rage because at one point they were kind of trying to make him an anti-hero. He was teaming up with the X-Men and he helped them fight the Phalanx, you know, in the uh, the Phalanx Covenant storyline, which I love and it's some of my favorite Sabretooth stuff. And that's also the introduction of Generation X, which is a comic book that I have nearly the entire run of as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm really into this stuff. I really like these characters and I love Sabretooth and I always liked him when he was a prisoner at the X-Mansion. I always thought that was some of the best X-Men stuff, uh, you know, out there, especially with the character of Sabretooth. And then there's also an appearance like Ghost Rider appears in Wolverine number 89 and he helps Wolverine fight like the ghost of his former samurai master, Ogun, or one of his old, uh, you know, masters that he had uh, in Japan. And that was a really cool story. But at the end of that, that leads into, they have Sabretooth talking to Gambit. And that leads into the issue where Wolverine uh, basically lobotomizes Sabretooth. They get in a big fight and Wolverine puts his claws, you know, up Sabretooth. 
you know, two claws pop out, the ones on the left and right, and uh, and then Wolverine's like threatening to pop the middle claw right through Sabretooth's brain, and then you know Sabretooth's like, do it, do it, runt, and then of course he does it and <laughs> lobotomizes him. Oh, and as a bonus, real quick, I wanted to show some pages from an issue of Marvel Comics Presents number ninety-eight because I know there's people out there that were hoping that Werewolf by Night might be in this game, and I hope that too. I think he's a great character, Jack. I think he's really awesome. But uh, you know, I was like, wait, was did he ever meet? Sabretooth, like I feel like there was a time where he did, and the only reason I thought of that was because recently I've been rereading Marvel Comics Presents, going through the the Ghost Rider stories, but occasionally I'd flip it over to the other side and check out the Wolverine stories on some of them. And in that on one of those issues, issue ninety eight, there's actually a Werewolf by Night story where he meets Sabretooth and they get into a battle, and and he almost kills Sabretooth, like you know Werewolf by Night's like not messing around, and you know Sabretooth goes, you don't have the guts to kill me, and he's like, yes I do, <laughs> he's like wrong again, son, um, but he doesn't because some hunters show up and, and try to shoot them, people who are hunting werewolf by night and they actually you know save Sabretooth. So uh yeah I mean you know so Sabretooth has tried to bite off a little bit more than he can chew at times for sure. So uh yeah so that's all my Sabretooth stuff I want to talk about today. Uh, like I said I'll try to break this up. We'll do a whole video on the combat of the first battle. I think there was like they had Blade and Doctor Strange there. So we'll do like a whole video on that because they talk about the different card systems, you know the different types of cards I should say. And we didn't get into that in the previous video with cards. So we'll do another video on cards and the battle system using that footage. And then also they showed more stuff at the Abbey, including like hints at Agatha Harkness and Wanda again. So we'll definitely talk about that in an upcoming video as well. So I won't do this for every villain that comes out in these games, um, but I'll at least do them for the ones that it makes sense to do them for. Uh, but if you have any thoughts on this, on this footage we saw, you know, my reaction, anything like that, or this game in general, let me know down below and I'll definitely have more videos breaking down more stuff of this game coming up very soon. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in hell. Peace.